All right, people, here it is, the deck profile for Dragoonity. So, despite, you know, it being a set archetype in comparison to the rest of the decks, I had a hard time with this deck. Like, I wanted to just play Dragoonities, and like a while I could have thrown in, like, I think I tried um, uh, Stardust Assault mode, and I tried Felgrand. I, I kind of felt like, no, nah, I just wanted to get back to the roots of the deck. It's been a while. But uh, the deck, sometimes I feel like the deck is missing something. It has some holes. So we had to play a little bit of filler cards. But uh, overall, not terrible. I mean, really, I just wanted to make crystal meth. That's really the only thing. I wanted to make methamphetamine, cook it up in the pot in my kitchen with Dragoonities. But uh, sometimes I did it. Sometimes I couldn't. Uh, I tried playing Potty Cupidity. That was stupid. Like, that was real dumb. And uh, as you can clearly see, I took it out. I took it out of the deck because that, that was just a dumb idea to play Potty Cupidity in here. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and give you the deck profile. Don't play Potty Cupidity. Uh, you don't have enough room. And when you have important cards that you need to get, like Dragon Levine, then running a card like Potty Cupidity is not good. But I'm, I'm starting to dislike the card anyway. Like, if it gets hype like in TCG like it, didn't, like it does in the LCG, I'm just not sure if I'm going to be up for playing it. I don't know. Anyway, of course, we run Triple Ducks. You know, go ahead and grab that Phalanx and then go into your Vagina and then get our back your fans again and go into pretty much Crystal Meth. I mean, you have other Sync 8s, but Crystal Meth. Crystal meth, crystal meth, crystal meth, because that's all I wanted to do, was just, I wanted to make an easy crystal meth, just, mm. Uh, then I decided to go ahead and do the Legionnaire, uh, Ackley's combo, if need be. Uh, it actually worked. I didn't know that this is actually mandatory, and when this card is, is equip, unequipped, I have to select the card to destroy it, so there was actually a time where I used Legionnaire effect, unequipped, popped their, um, back row, and then Ackley's went off and popped my Legionnaire, because that was the only card in the field. <laughs> so that sucked. But <clears throat> got the combos there. We also got a couple of sync uh fives just in case I go Legionnaire, uh Phalanx, unequipped Phalanx going to a sync five. So yeah. Uh then we run two missile tins. Uh he's also pretty decent, uh, depending on what I open up. Uh, I can't do the Vagriana uh, Crystal Meth combo like him, but if I, for example, I want to put like Legionnaire and Axe, I can go ahead and just, uh, especially on this card for my for my hand by sending a Dragon Me Monster, so probably a Legionnaire or one of these. And then uh, when this card's normal summon, I can select a Dragon type, Dragon Me Monster, and grab it and equip it. So uh, it could be uh, Phalanx, unequip the Phalanx through the effect, Sync, sync 8, so, uh, you know, Scrap Dragon, Scar Right, Hot Red, so yeah. Plays like that. Uh, I ran two because I didn't want to clog. Same thing with Act. They're they're like secondary plays. Like these are the major plays, and then these are like the secondary plays. Uh, then because this deck I feel was missing cards, I decided to put in Triple Max C. Uh, I would definitely run like Chicken Game, like stuff like that. Chicken Game, Terraforming, and all that great filler shit. But of course, the Chicken Game being banned only one upstart. Uh, you got to go to Max C. So I would gladly go ahead and drop a Max C and draw a couple of cards. It's not as great as in Tag uh, because you know my Tag partner goes first, and then they do their play. So I pretty much have to have my tag partner go second, in which I have my opening hand first, have the maxi, and then the first opponent goes first. I drop the maxi, but you know, maxi is maxi. There's nothing to say about that. So six monsters, once counts okay, but I kind of wish there's just a little bit more. You know, just a little bit more. Uh, foolish. Uh, go ahead and uh, send your uh, phalanx. Get in the graveyard for your plays. Uh, same thing with the Dragon Shrine, just one, trying to number generate it, get it at one, grab it, and uh, send it. Regeki, one more, Soul Charge, one more, Upstart, that one Upstart, two Dragon Veins, because it's only at two, I believe it's at one in the OCG, so I guess we're even lucky, you know. I would love for this card to go up to three, that'd be great, but I don't know, I don't know. Of course, Triple Terraforming, I don't even care if I'm only playing two Dragon Veins, I'd rather have it than not have it. Uh, then one gospel, try to number generate it pretty much, uh, summon back one of my super monsters and protect it. So if you kill more, if you find some way to kill my crystal meth, I can just revive it with gospel. And then not only am I reviving it again, see, I do it again, but then it's also protected by, you know, gospel, banish it to protect from destruction by battle by card effect. So, mm. triple twin twister, blow you away, love me twin twin twister, uh, triple insta fusion, Norden, and then this, the um, uh, it's a wing beast, so I can go, um, uh, I can go, if I just open up with Phalanx and I don't have like a Ducks, I can go Insta Fusion, summon Mavilus, summon Phalanx, go into Vadriana, Vadriana, summon back Phalanx, and then Crystal Meth. So, yeah. But then, of course, Norton, because it's Norton. Uh, triple Dragoon, uh, Dragoony Spear of Destiny, equip to a Dragoony, then equip a uh, Dragon type Dragoony mo Tuner Monster from your deck. So, pretty much, if I open up with Ducks and I have no Phalanx, I can just go ahead and do Spear, equip the Phalanx, and then do the place like that. 
then the Silent Morning and Silent Strikes. Triple Vadriana, one Gay Dirge. I don't think I ever used them in the month that this is on here. Two Crystal Maths, Scrap Dragon, Scar Rite, Hot Red, Armades, Cataster, Castell, and then the Fusion Monsters. So, uh, yeah, there you go, people. There's your gun. If you want to go ahead and pick the deck and uh, play with it, more power to you. Uh, I would not take this deck for granted. Uh, I'm definitely not going to say I'm a diligent, good Dragoon player. There's much more diligent and better made decks on YouTube that you can simply search up. But this is just what I felt like I wanted to play with on Daily Duel. And also keep in mind, it was a tag deck. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Of course, I will be back tomorrow uh, doing a deck profile. Well, probably deck profiles multiple for Zushin because that deck was, yeah. So... Uh, that will cover that, and I will be playing pure kaiju, so that should be interesting. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, and, uh, if you haven't checked it out already, the tag deck that will be placing this, uh, ABC, uh, will be up, uh, first tag video, so be sure to check that out if you haven't checked that out already. Okay, now, thanks for watching.